Well, finally, some artists work quickly and frantically, while others use it to relax and slow down a bit. Recently, Rob Wiles met a woodcarver who definitely fits the latter category. Ernest Sherrill uses his talent to create nice works, but he uses the process to slow down and decompress. Imagine the pressure of being a police officer. I mean, coming out of the precinct there every morning, never sure what you're gonna run into out on the street. You'd need to relieve some pressure from that job. Now, Ernest Sherrill was a Metro Nashville police officer for 26 years, and he found his relief in uh, reliefs and gourds and spoons. I've whittled all my life, and uh, since I was old enough to, to lose Dad's pocket knives. And finally, uh, several years ago, roughly, I don't know, 18 years ago or so, I was whittling in the den watching television and making a pile of shavings on the floor. And my wife, Helen, she said, uh, why, don't you, why don't you carve something so when we get, you get through with all that, instead of having just a pile of shavings, you'll actually have something to look at. So like a good husband would, Ernest took his wife Helen's suggestion and began to carve, which resulted in all kinds of things from miniature houses to eggshells carved into intriguing shapes that often contain a surprise, and just about anything else you can think of. Lots of high quality work and lower blood pressure. I guess by nature I'm, I'm a, a tedious particular person. People say that I have, uh, my wife says I have no patience, but I can sit out here and work on a piece for, for hours. So it's, I don't know, it's, it's just something I enjoy. I can watch it take shape out of a block of wood. I can take a pattern or I can uh, take an original or I can take a pattern and modify it, whatever I want to do to it. And if I get tired of that, I can go to carving spoons or carving gourds or carving eggshells. And I usually have two or three different projects going at one time. I've got two on my bench now, and they're different types of carving. But I can do one for a few hours or a day, and then I can go to the other one. That way, I don't get burnt out on that particular job. And there will be many more, but Ernest is in no rush about that. My first career is a, was as a tool and die maker. And that gave me a, a, a mindset of precision and uh, liking things done, not rough, but, but well done, mm -hmm. and, uh, which takes time, which is one reason I don't sell a lot of things, because that, <laughs> that way I can take as much time as I want to on a project. The amount of time you do on a carving can vary from uh, a few hours to weeks. And it, it's, it's, not, it's not a fast hobby. Ernest's first career as a toolmaker really is reflected in the organization of his shop and his attention to detail. But it's his second career that showed him the real value of taking his time. 26 years as a Metro Nashville police officer on patrol, training rookies, and finally in charge of creating maps that can be vital to an investigation or a courtroom presentation. The pace of police work, well, it's a lot different than the pace of being a woodcarver. It is uh, night and day, <laughs> night and day. Uh, the wood carving and, and the leather work that I did for so long was a, a stress reliever. I could come home in the evenings and uh, when I was doing, I did leather work for 25 years. I'd come home, go down in the basement and I could pound on that leather and and it took, it took my thoughts and my stress away from the daily grind at, of the police work. And I think the wood carving that come along later has done it, did the same thing. Show me the other part of it then. Okay. I have been very fortunate to have the complete backing of my wife. She has uh, always been behind me in my, in my hobbies. Never had any conflict there. I'll take it to her tour and show her just like a puppy dragging a bone in. She said, oh, that's, that's really nice, you know. And of course, I figure she's a little biased. But she'll also criticize it. And she sees something, she said, well, now, you know, I don't know about that. So maybe this would work better or something like that. So 
Usually most of the time I'll take her advice, make a change. Making some changes, taking his time, pays off in the finished work. Intriguing pieces, award winners that grace magazine covers. Well, how does he do it? Start carving layers uh, to bring to bring the carving out of the wood. So I don't I don't know how to how to really explain how you do it, except that you the old cliche you take away everything that's not the car that's not what you want, and you end up with uh, with what you started to carve. Well, there's got to be more to it than that. And maybe one day, Ernest Sherrill will give away more secrets. One day, but there's no rush about it.